We have a synthesis reaction between aluminum and oxygen. It takes two liters of pure oxygen at standard temperature and pressure to react with a sample of aluminum. What is the mass of aluminum that is reacted? When we're given a gas volume at STP, we have this relationship that one mole of the gas occupies 22.4 liters. So if we start with the two liters of oxygen, I know in a traditional stoic question, the first thing we have to do is change the given to moles. So we would do so with one mole over 22.4 liters, which means they have 0 0.0893 moles of the oxygen. We're trying to figure out what mass of aluminum we is gonna react with that. So we need our second step, which is the mole ratio. There's four aluminum for every three oxygen, uh, which means that there's 0.119 moles of aluminum. And then we just need to multiply that by the molar mass, which is 26.98 grams. So if two moles, or sorry, two liters of oxygen is reacted, we will need 3.21 grams of the aluminum. Number 10, let's set that up a bit. Uh, we have some background about a balloon. We have that the volume of the balloon was 4.8 times 10 to the six liters what mass of iron and what volume of sulfuric acid were needed to ensure complete filling of the balloon at zero degrees Celsius and one ATM. Well, the only gas that fills the balloon in the reaction is the hydrogen because the iron sulfate is aqueous. So this volume is talking about the hydrogen. In order to figure out how much we need of the reactants, we need to figure out how many moles of hydrogen that would be. So the first step is to calculate the moles. Since it's at STP, you can do it one of two ways. You can use the ideal gas law or the uh, ratio. I'll do the ratio. So 4.8 times 10 to the six liters. And we know that one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. So that means that the hydrogen that's filling that balloon is 2.14 times 10 to the fifth moles. Everything reacts in a one-to-one -one ratio. So for the iron, we just need to convert the moles of iron to grams by multiplying by the molar mass of iron, which is 55.85. So we need 1.2 times 10 to the seventh grams of iron. The sulfuric acid is slightly different. We again need to first get the grams. So we'll multiply by the molar mass of sulfuric acid, which is 98.09, which means that we would need 2.1 times 10 to the seventh grams of sulfuric acid. But we need the volume, so we're gonna multiply by the density. Uh, of one milliliter has 1.84 grams. So we would need 1.14 times 10 to the seventh milliliters, or if you divide that by a thousand, 1.14 times 10 to the fourth liters.